Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric and I'm here again with Bobby Carrillo and he's going to show us today how to use Connected Components Workshop to program a 525 or a 500 series Allen Bradley drive. Now this will work with 500 series or 700 series. Correct. Also, um, all the legacy drives also, PowerFlex 4s, 40s, 70s. Um, we can get online with all those with uh, CCW. CCW. So CCW is actually free? It is. It's free Rockwell software. And we can go straight from our computer and program drives. We drive. can um, upload and download parameters, save parameters um, onto our laptop through, through that software. And as long as we're Ethernet connected? Uh, different types of uh, communication are available, serial um, and Ethernet, both. Serial Ethernet? Yeah. Um, yeah, they make cables. USB. USB. They make cables uh, for the older drives, the 40s and 40s. Um, uh, it's a separate purchase. Um, but if it's Ethernet, you know, any Ethernet cable, it'll work. So let's get right into it. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I have to get on the network. So I'll plug into the, the Ethernet switch that has um, the IP address of the uh, drive. So what we have to do first is set our network on our computer to match the network of the drive and the switch. So we have to come here to change your network settings, change adapter options, and this unidentified network is where you're going to set the properties and set the IP address to match. Protocol version 4.4, use the following IP address. Now typically uh, what I do when I set my computer to join an industrial network is I, uh, I use 254 for the last set of numbers because that's typically left open. It's the last number that's available in, in, the, in the IP range. So, and I know that this network is 192.168.1. Um, so then my computer is 254. I should be able to see these uh, devices. Uh, subnet's 255. We can leave the gateway blank for this. Uh, hit OK here and we should be set. So then if we go to, go ahead and go open up um, Connected Components Workbench, we'll be able to open the software um, and browse to this particular drive um, inside the software. Uh, RS Links uh, works also if you have it on your computer to verify that you can communicate with the drive, but there's a form of links in the software also. So we'll, just, we'll start with that Okay. as soon as it opens. <laughs> okay. So we go here to a new project. We don't have any projects yet, and we don't have this particular project saved. So we go to new, create a project. We just left it project one. And this window comes up and it tells you, it shows you all of the drives that you can connect to. And as you see here, um, PowerFlex 4 class, PowerFlex 520, PowerFlex 7, PowerFlex 750s, even the DC drives. All of these drives are drives that we can download or upload to with the appropriate cables. Today we're working with a 525, so we go down to the PowerFlex 520 series, select the 525, select it, and we add it to the project. You'll see it populate over here in the corner. We can name it, let's just name it um, Demo VFD. It automatically detects what type of drive, what size it is. So we can just hit OK. And now it's saved to the project. Um, you have all of these options here with parameters, faults, um, wizards on how to set it up, things like that. Um, but first what we're going to do is we're going to try to upload what's currently in the drive. So if we go to connect and we want to upload from the drive, upload means take what's in the drive, bring it onto our computer. Downloads the exact opposite. We take what we have saved on our computer and download it into the drive. Uh, this AB Ethernet IP driver, it should be where we see it. And we actually can see the three main components of this system. Uh, the Stratix switch, which is 11, mm -hmm. and the, the PLC, which is uh, .12. But the drive is .10, and we can go directly online with that. So we hit continue, select it here, hit continue. Now, as you can see, we're uploading and um, as we connect to the device. Upload was completed. And now we have everything that was in that VFD uploaded to our computer and we can save it and anytime we need to replace the drive or do anything with the drive we can connect remotely to it and change it here in CCW which makes it really nice. Yeah really convenient. Yeah 
So um, we can go here to parameters. And if you look with another really nice feature of CCW is you can click here on show non-defaults. And when you do that, it shrinks the list of parameters to the only ones that have been changed. So these are the only ones you really need to concern yourself with when putting in a new drive. You see how it shrunk the list. We're looking at, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parameters versus the hundreds that are in the drive. So that's all really good. That's a really a uh, huge benefit. And here you can also change um, the parameters for them. So if we want to change it to 3.0, we can do that. We can change the IP address. These four here are the IP address that are stored in the drive. So yeah, we can do that. We go here, once we change it, go to connect, download. Now we're downloading what's here back into the drive. But that's pretty much it. Um, it's just that easy to get online with these drives and to program remotely from the computer. Um, and if this was on the industrial network where you had remote access to the industrial network from your office or you know, from a different location, you could do it remotely where you get online with these drives and, and change whatever you need to change and take a look at them. That's great. Yeah. Great solutions. Yeah. I want to thank you, Bobby, for coming out here and showing us how to program these drives both manually uh, from the PLC and also from CCW. And, uh, You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Showing us how drives work, uh, how how motor, how basically how motors work, and uh, everything you've done for us uh, over these last few videos. Appreciate it. You guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciated these videos. I hope they come in handy for you. Hope you can use them. And if you like these videos, press the like button. If you want to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and click subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.